Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Slivers. And we lost the die roll. Uh, but we've got a decent hand. A decent hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. We'll keep. Turn one, Gale Rider. Turn two, Diffusion. Not bad start. And then we can... Or we can go turn two, Mana Swift, and start setting up for, like, Bone Scythe the next turn. That might be good, too. And they are mono green, maybe? Dryad. What's a dryad? Oh, this guy. Ooh, every basic land type. Okay. Okay. I'm still I gotta get used to these decks. Another sliver hive. Uh, let's just go sliver hive. And player gale rider. Oh, yep, yep. We're using the sliver spell. Yes, sir. I just went up against, uh, it was a trash recording because they, they beat me 1-0 and then like left after the sideboard, but I went up against Dread Zombies. We have so much hate for them in the sideboard, they didn't even want to play. It was trash. Uh, but they did beat us, so just to let you guys know. Uh, we had a crappy hand, though. We had a really, we were mana screwed from the start. Other other than that, we, uh, we might have been able to do some work, but uh, yeah, we had a crappy start. All right, uh, let's, I don't know... I guess we'll just put down this. And, alright, so we play Mana Swift. Mana Swift. And then next turn we can drop a Bone Scythe. Well, we can drop it no matter what, I guess. I'm just going to put down Diffusion. Uh, get the protection down early. Get in there for one. I guess my reason for Mana Swept is like we can play patient to get the Bone Scythe down, and we will have the mana in the land eventually too. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal. I'd rather get the protection down, especially since they got a Blast Zone now and a Rahad. Let's see. As long as your turn, it has First Strike. We look at the top cards of your library at any time, play the lands from the top. And it gets pumped based on the lands you control. Okay. Costs six to pump. There's a planes. Cool, cool. So. I think we will just put down the bone scythe now. Set up for some really good turns. Do we not have enough? Oh, we didn't have enough. Oops. Undo, undo, undo. Undo, undo. I thought we had enough. Uh, cancel. Bit of a misplay. Alright, we'll go in. Sorry. I think I was counting Mana Swift without summoning Sickness. My bad. But we're going to give all our guys double strike next turn, which is nice. They can crack the blast zone if they want. Kill our flyer. But they're just going to play the dryad. We're going to be racing a little bit. I'm fine with racing. Muta Vault, huh? That's nice. I'll play the Muta Vault. Put down the Bone Scythe. Everybody's got double strike. Boom. Get in there for six. Bring him to 11. I think we're winning the race. We got two collected companies in hand. Very nice. I'm misplaying this Mana Swift. I know, I had some misplays last week, too, on it. I gotta, I gotta tighten up my game with the Mana Swift. Maybe since they didn't have removal, we should have just dropped it. Turn two? Well, yeah, maybe. I like the turn two diffusion though. It worked out so well for us last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So they can either pump big on this guy. Do they have the lands? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can get hit for nine here. Sure, if they want to hit me for nine, fine. I'll just go on chump blocking after that. They're not gonna though. Just realize her name. The Smexy Dinosaur. Nisa. Yep. Put three counters and it untaps. Yep, yep, yep. Another Dryad. Another Diffusion. Ah, uh, they're at 11. We can hit them for 6. Unless we, like, hit 2 Lords off the top. Or no, we can hit them for 8. Ooh, should we just go for it? Oh no, we have to hit him for six because uh, we need to tap. Yeah, we have to tap for this. So we can at least play out. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we just have the win? This is a 2-2. Two -two. Hits for four. Yeah, don't we just... I think we're good. Gotta remember the Muta Vault. Am I doing the math right? I think I am. Double strike, four. Four. Six. No, we're one away, actually. <laughs> oh no, we're not. Why did I do the math wrong on that? I don't know, but we got it. <laughs> we saw the line. I'm second guessing myself here. I'm sorry. All right, so pithing for Nisa seems okay. They didn't. Oh, they don't want to stay and play. Why is everybody leaving after game one, man? Everybody's leaving after game one. All right, let's talk about it. We had a we had a pithing needle we could bring in for Nisa. Uh, how much was Rada? forget how much Rada was. Was Fatal Push good in this matchup? Didn't seem like it. We didn't see any, like, two drops. Striking Venom. Um, I think we would have just brought in the Pithings. Maybe drop... No, we would have kept an Immortal Sun. Yeah, I think just uh, bringing in the Pithings, maybe taking out a, um, a Siphon and a Metallic Mimic or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun. It's unfortunate. Everybody's leaving after game one right now, but I'll still post this one at least Because uh, they left I didn't so what are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> leave a like though if you're enjoying the pioneer silvers I know I, I, I just got off playing popper silvers. I'm a little bit, you know switching formats I'm switching formats still so I'm, I apologize for the not very tight plays, but we got there. So leave a like, subscribe. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for some more Pioneer Slivers. We will see you guys in that video.